This video is going to show you how to create a screencast using WeVideo. So you'll go to WeVideo.com to get started and log in. Click login and then select login with Google. Once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard and before any project, I like to get organized. So I click on the projects tab and create a new project folder. You might wanna make one that all your screencasts go in. So create a screencast folder and select personal, then you'll hit next. You can skip this part where it says to add media. Go ahead and click next. And then I'm gonna click finish so I could show you then that all your folders um, get created and show up in the projects. So I'll select screencast the folder I just made and then I'm going to start a new video. So click start from scratch blank edit click start again and you'll now see your timeline. Once you're in your timeline you'll select my media which is the second tab from the top and you'll select record. There's three options you can do a screencast using your webcam the second option is where it's going to record just your screen. That's the option I'm going to show in just a moment. And then there's also a third option where you can have a combination of a webcam recording and the screen recording. So I'll select screen and click OK. Select my microphone, which I use, I use default. Click next. And then you're going to select what you want to record. Most of the time you'll select your entire screen and this will record different tabs you might open, different windows, and select that and click share. Once you do that, you'll get a little countdown and then your screen recording starts. So now everything that I click on is being recorded. I can go to um, a document, maybe you want to explain like what a document looks like and walk through it with your students. Maybe you want to go to a website and explain that. Whatever it is, you can do that, click through, and once you're done recording your screen, you just select stop sharing on the bottom. You'll click that button and it gives you a preview. You can watch it. If you're happy with it, you can select save. If you wanna record again, you can have another try at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And once you hit save, your video shows up in your My Media options here. And you'll see that there's like a blue border around it and that means it's getting imported. It sometimes takes a few seconds depending on how long it is. Once that blue border goes away, you can then drag it down to your timeline. If you watch it and it's perfect, you're good to go. The other thing is though, sometimes you might wanna like clip the front, maybe crop out some of it. All you do is click on your video and your mouse is gonna turn into like a double-sided arrow. You can crop some out, you can crop the end out, you can do different kinds of editing. But if you like it as is, then you're just gonna go to the top right-hand corner and select finish. You can Rename your screencast, click set, and then you're almost done. At this part, you get another chance to rename it if you want. For the destination, where is it gonna go? I always select, you know, WeVideo, and I also select Google Drive as a backup. And then this part is really important where it says mark video as public. If you want others to view it, you're gonna wanna make sure that that is turned on. And then select export. This turns your project into a video. It takes a few moments. You can close your computer and walk away and you'll get an email notifying you when it's complete. All of your video exports will show up in the export tabs. I'm gonna click on that right now so I could show you. Once you're in your exports folder, you'll see all the videos that have been exported and are ready to share. So click on the video that you would like to share out, double click on it and it will open up. And then there's different ways to share it out. You can, if you have Google Classroom, click on the Google Classroom button right under the video and a window will open up and you get to choose which class or classes you wanna share it out to. That's one option. 
Another option is just grabbing and copying the URL from the video and you can share it via email, Google Classroom, Seesaw, whichever format you choose. And you can get the same URL by clicking the share link and embed button that's on the bottom right. If you click that, you'll see the same link. You copy it to clipboard. And if you close this, again, you can share it out whichever format you choose to via classroom, seesaw, email, whatever it may be. That's it. That's how you create a screencast and easily share it out to your learners.